Hi, this is Kat Chancellor from Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator, and I am going to uh, walk through a, a brand new technique, and this technique is called the acetate panel technique. And before we get started, I just want to make sure that I get some of my other peeps that I am uh, talking to that they are on. Um, I, I am going to yeah, I see uh, walk it. through a, a brand. Okay, so I am live. Uh, if you want to connect there, uh, Catherine. Uh, you should you should get a message for those of you that are have subscribed to me. You should be getting a message saying that cat is live. In which case, you just click on that or you go to my YouTube channel at stampartconnection.com and I will be there. Okay, you should be getting a message for those of you that are subscribed. You should be getting a message from me that I am live and I'm just waiting for uh, a couple of my customers to join me. I'm just having a nice Friday afternoon live here on Stamp Art Connection um, YouTube. I don't know where you'll, uh, if you may get the... It should be on your, on your messages. So I have, so I am, yes, I'm going to say hello. Um, and that's it. Nope. Um, it's one that has catalogs. If so, if you're watching me, I, I'm on. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna just keep, okay, yes, that's me. Okay, so just keep, just keep watching. Okay, so Catherine, I'm gonna say goodbye and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on the live. All right, thank you, bye. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to, first I wanna tell you that the mini catalog is, it, here it is, I received my copy that is um, going to be available to all my customers. I sent out, I don't know, a, 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 if, if you've ever ordered from me, I sent you a mini, a mini catalog. So I can't show you the inside, but I'll be getting my, my products and I'll show you some really cool things. And included with that is celebrations. And there's some really cool things in there. And I'm gonna show you some, some itty bitty little, I don't know if you can see, little penguins i mean i can show you things on the outside i can't take you inside um, but there's some really cool paper that will be in celebrations that i just want to bring to your attention and in, in the mini catalog there's some really nice dsp and they do the evergreen and the holly so beautifully with um with stamping that but there's another set in here that i am just going to be just really excited to show you that um that i just want to wait until i get my products and and uh can show it to you if you don't have a mini catalog and would like one please uh, private message me and i can um you know uh or uh, designate me as your demonstrator or sign up and become a hobbyist and you can um 
actually order out of this. And that's pretty cool. And if you join up as a hobbyist under me, then you don't have to worry about any kind of um, selling. You're just simply going to enjoy all the products at a 20% discount. Now, I I have the annual catalog here, and I've opened up on this page here, 116, because this is the set that I'm going to be featuring for this new um, uh, technique that I'm going to be showing. I'm also going to be uh, featuring a soft pastel assortment. You will need sponge daubers, but let me reveal what this card is going to look like. Here is the cards that we're going to be creating today. We're going to be creating this te technique and it's going to be done on the window sheets. And I just want to show you how really, I just think it's just gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. It creates, here's my first effort. And um, I did this on, a, again, on a window sheet using, um, we're going to use Versamark. We're going to use Versamark and we're going to use some black stays on ink um, to, uh, to create the image here. And um, I have, I, so this is my first effort and then here is my second effort and this is the one we're gonna, I'm gonna show you uh, the technique to create this. So you're going to need some window sheets. Now I'm, I am going, rather than, than um, Stampin' Up offers this, okay? It's in the annual catalog and it's back here on, um, let's see, I just wanna show you where you can find it if you're looking for it because this is the new catalog and sometimes things can get kind of uh, turned around uh, upside down and backwards. So here is on the packaging on page 136, 137. These are paper basics. Here are your window sheets. This is where you will find them. And you can get two 12 by 12 sheets for $5. But let me give you a tip here. Let me give you, when you get your photopolymer stamps from Stamping Up, they are now packaging them on a window sheet. You can take this window sheet and we can repurpose it for making cards, especially if we're going to make something like this. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put all these, these aside because we're going to use them. But what I want to show you to prepare your window sheet for, um, for using it for, uh, for a, a card, um, I use, and I don't know, but, you know, post-COVID, I have a lot of alcohol wipes for hand sanitizing in my household. So I not only use them when I do my nails, and I'm trying to uh, prep my nails for, for uh, nail polish, but I, I am using them now to kind of wipe down my window sheet. And let me go ahead and pull in my photopolymer uh, or my um, stamp and piercing mat because I'm going to be using photopolymer stamps. I'm going to need this. And I'm just going to wipe it down. And what it does is it kind of um, cleans any of the residue that may be on your window sheet because it was in the uh, used in the stamp set for your photopolymer stamps. Okay, so that is a good way to clean your window sheet and get it ready. So I'm going to put that aside so we can dry. Yeah, the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a, a base card, and I'm using Whisper White. This is um, base card five and a half by four and a quarter, and it's it's going to be cut. And we haven't decided how we're going to um, uh, orient this, uh, but you're going to need that. I've cut out using black um, cardstock, and I'm using. And let me find my, I am using my rectangle stitches framelits, okay? These are also in the catalog and I'm using the large and the next to the large and I'm going, I've, I've kind of layered them. 
So let me show you. I'm using here's the large, and this is this is actually the one I need. And this one, okay. So it's kind of like they're they're nesting. So you want to use like the largest, and then skip one, and then use the next one um, for your um, uh, for your card, okay? For your for your frame. So that's the frame that we're going to be using. Now, the next part that we're going to need is we're going to need some inks. Now, I already told you you need Versamark and you're going to need black stays on. I've also used, and let me pull this out here, I've also used some sea foam, and this is for my background, and I've used some old olive ink for stamping my background and some uh, Memento Black. That is for stamping the background of our stamp because what we're gonna do is when we stamp our flowers, we're gonna pop them up on this beautiful um, window sheet, this acetate, and then we're gonna stamp a background that then they can kind of have that, kind of that really neat effect there, okay? So, I'm going to put those aside because we're going to need those. You're going to need your soft pastel assortments. Now, um, grab a piece of cardstock or scrap paper. I like to have my um, 12 by 12 or my, my large um, worksheets here. And I'm just going to fold these in half. Because I, what we're going to do is we're going to select some colors out of our soft pastels assortment in order to color our cards. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So we want to have that. Now, I've already uh, picked out a sentiment. It's the same sentiment I've used here. Only I wanted to kind of step it up a little bit. And I, um, I used a gold embossing powder to kind of give it a little bit more. Um, pizzazz when we finish our card. Okay, so I've given you all the pieces and parts that we're going to to use and um, we're going to start out with, and I, I'm going to be honest because this is live, anything can happen. So I do have an extra uh, white sheet here just in case something happens because, um, uh, you know, this is live, let's have fun. Okay, so what I what I have here is I have my window sheet on top of my my um, my whisper white card stuff. I'm gonna pull in my um, I'm gonna pull in my stamparatus. And I actually already have, let me show you um, the set I was going to use for this is I was going to use the color and contour set to create um, this flower. And I've already put it on my um, my acetate, but I'm going to take that off because I've already, um, I just kind of wanted to show you another stamp set that we could use. But let me just make sure that I, that I can kind of give you um, the full tutorial of how to put, uh, how to create this technique using this image. All right. So what I did is I have here a piece of acetate that's already been cleaned off with uh, alcohol. I'm going to sl slip my my image right upside down on my acetate. I'm going to go ahead and put my magnets down. And I have it kind of organized right there. I have my um, plate. I'm going to take my plate and I'm going to pick up my stamps. And because I'm using photopolymer stamps, I want to make sure that I also have my pad that comes with my stamparatus. Now you saw how sticky that is. It's very, very sticky. So we want to make sure that we kind of have it like very tightly put in our in our stamparatus because when we put our ink on it, 
it is going to, it may stick a little bit, okay? And there's really nothing, there's really nothing you can do about that. So let me just, again, let me just make sure I kind of have this centered. I'm going to pick it up again. A stick, that's okay. Okay, and I kind of have it right there. Now I'm going to take my Versamark. No, nope, I'm going to take it. My stays on, and I also have my stays on cleaner here and a good uh, damp cloth. And we're going to go ahead and apply our stays on. I'm going to put it on my press on my acetate here and it's going to stick. I'm just going to grab my finger and I'm going to let it stick. Again, it didn't totally get it, but that's okay. That's the beauty of the of the Stamparatus is that I can re-stamp it, reapply ink. I need to remove anything I can and And use my finger to apply some pressure. Okay, I just have a little bit here that didn't take, so I'm just going to add some more ink and just make sure I get that. And there it is. Look, I have it perfectly, perfectly outlined. You know, if I just want to make sure, again, just making sure everything is tight. And there we go. It's perfect. So there's our image. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take my take my uh, my stamps. I'm going to add some of my stays on remover here that is also uh, in the annual catalog to clean my stamp. Now it will, you know, when you do this, it is going to discolor your photopolymer stamp. But I like to clean it uh, because if I choose to use other ink colors, I just want to make sure, you know, I have I have it clean. And when I do that, it's it's going to be a little bit gray. It's not going to be clear anymore, but it does not affect the performance of your stamp. So let's go ahead and put our um, stamp apparatus aside. Okay, so now we have our image. I'm going to put my, my stays on the side. Now, let's go ahead and, and you can use the Stamparatus for this. Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you another technique. You don't have to use a Stamparatus. I would recommend it, but you don't have to. So now, this is the side. Okay, this is the side we stamp. This is the side that we're going to use for the front of our card, right? When we turn it over. But we're going to keep this um, with kind of like the stamped part up. I'm rubbing my finger so that the stamp, the stays on, has dried, okay? So now I'm going to basically begin to lay down these stamps here from my stamp set that uh, that provide the the color, right? This is a multi-step stamp. So we should have, uh, let me make sure. Um, this one goes here and I'm just lining them on top of my image. And this one, this one will go, let me just, there we go. So I'm just kind of covering up my image and you can kind of see how I've done that. Now I'm going to pick them up on my clear block. Okay. Now nothing happened. It didn't pick up any of, of the stays on, but now I have a block that I can use to come back and uh, stamp on my image. So now I'm going to grab, I'm going to push my image aside and I'm going to grab some Versamark. 
and I'm going to add my Versamark here. And I want to get that as gummy and as gooey as I possibly can. And I'm just kind of going, I'm, I'm looking at my YouTube video just to make sure that, I, that I'm kind of keeping up with what's going on. Okay, I've, I've kind of made that as gummy and gooey. So I've got lots of good Versamark on my, on my pad. So I'm gonna turn this over. Now, because this is photopolymer, let's not forget to pull in our stamping piercing mat. And I have my silicone sheet as well. And if I want to, I can just go ahead and pull in a piece of, of, of um, my uh, worksheet there so you, so you can better see the image. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to line this up. This is how easy it is. I'm just going to line, and it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? I'm going to line this up and I'm just going to press that Versamark onto my to those images okay and you can see that i've got nice gooey versa mark all over my images okay you can kind of hopefully you can kind of see that and so now i'm going to take this aside and one thing I noticed is I don't have a lot of Versamark as I kind of looking at this. I don't have a lot of Versamark on that, on that itty bitty little side right there. I am going to re-stamp this. Okay, I'm going to stamp it again with Versamark. Okay, I'm bringing this back in. Doesn't hurt to restamp it. I'm going to make sure that I have that covered. And you can see that I do. Okay. So now And I just want to make sure I get verse mark in my in my leaves and I'm checking. Now I do have a little bit of extra versa mark outside of my leaf. And that is where and I'm going to see if I have my that is where these Q tips are going to come in handy. Because I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to clean the Versamark around the outside if it got outside of the um, outside of the image, and it did in some cases. But I can kind of wipe that clean to make sure I don't have Versamark on the outside of my images, and I and that that's kind of what I'm doing. So Q-tips are a very helpful uh, tool for this technique. So now I'm going to pull in some sponge daubers that I've already used for other projects. I've got blue, I've got um, orange, and I'm going to bring them here. I'm then going to bring this, this piece of uh, paper. And I'm going to grab my soft pastels. And what I want to do with my soft pastels is I want to grab some colors. And I'm going to choose purple. I'm going to choose blue. And I'm going to choose the red. Now, according to our set here, um, the 
purple is gorgeous grape. The the um, poppy parade is the kind of the orangish, and then the blue is uh, should be knight of navy. I think that's knight of navy. Yep, that's knight of navy. Okay. It's not going to look that dark, but that is basically what it is. So now I'm going to start with my purple, and I'm going to grab my, my chalk, and I'm just going to put it on my paper here, because what I'm trying to create is this powder. I want this powder is what I'm going to use to apply on my flowers. And I want to make sure I get enough powder. Then I'm going to pick it up with my sponge dauber and I'm going to pick a flower that I want to do and I'm just going to take this powder and I'm going to apply it on top of my Versamark. My Versamark is still wet and I'm just going to apply it on top of my Versamark. Picking it up and just daubing it on. And you can turn it around and you can kind of see it's beginning to color. And the more you apply, the darker it's going to become. So. Just continue to kind of daub it. Now, if you wanted another color in the center, you can always grab um, one of your yellow chalks, throw some some um, color on it, and I would pick it up with a Q-tip, and I would just kind of dab it right there. So you can kind of see where I'm beginning to get that that color. And. Kind of a judgment call how much you want to add. I have a lot on one side and I don't have as much on the other. And maybe I want to add more. Okay, now let's pick another color. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open this up and turn it around. Let's use the poppy parade. I'm going to pick up this poppy parade. I'm just going to add that to my to the Versamark side of my of my image. I'm going to get more powder from my chalk, my soft pastels. Picking up that powder and just applying it to my image. And there you go. You kind of begin to see how that's starting to color. My next color, again, I'm just going to turn this around. I'm going to use the Knight of Navy. And I'm getting lots of powder. I'm going to pick it up with my sponge dauber and begin to apply that to my Versamark. And adding more powder. trying to find different ways to color using these chalks and I think this is a very effective way. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to pick up some of my yellow and and you can kind of see you begin to see there's a little bit of yellow. You just just put it on there. 
and there's there's the coloring of your image you're just simply just working around using those chalks to um to color now i'm putting my chalks away here what you can do is take your q-tip and you can kind of um what i took is i used this this alcohol marker again this alcohol white i use this alcohol white because what i wanted to do is i just want to kind of clean around my image And, and if you go into the black, the alcohol wipe will not bother that because remember we stamp the stays on. So I'm just kind of going around. And there's a little bit of, let me turn this around so you can kind of see. There's a little bit of blue that's kind of coming out. And that's okay. Just, just kind of clean up your, your image a little bit. And you can kind of wipe that up if you want with your Q-tip. That's what I'm doing. Is I'm kind of wiping now around my flower with my Q-tip. I'm going to do the same with the Poppy Parade. And with the Knight of Navy. Okay, so there you can see how the color is somewhat translucent on your acetate. And again, I'm just going to clean my acetate off here around my image. Because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my chalks away and I'm going to grab another sheet here and grab another one of these grabbing another sheet so I kind of want to keep keep this clean okay and then bring in another sheet because I'm going to put these away get these out of the way so so this is still the Versamark side is up. So now I'm going to take I'm going to take my frame and you can see how I want to frame my flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um I'm going to take my uh cardstock, okay? And I'm going to um, I'm going to put my frame on my cardstock. Okay, this is my Whisper White cardstock. This is the front of my card. Now I'm going to lay, I'm going to kind of lay how I want this work, this aligned. Now I chose to kind of put, and if you look at this one, I put the purple flower on top because it gives me room down here at the bottom for a sentiment. So I'm going to kind of very carefully, I'm just kind of aligning it using my, my black border as my frame. I'm just going to move that out of the way now. I kind of know where I want to align it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just very carefully going to lay this down. And I'm just, oops, I did it the wrong way. Okay, I had the Versamark side up. Okay, you want the Versamark side down. You want the clean part of the acetate facing you, the way you are going to lay it down. So let's say I'm going to do this. This is how I want it aligned. So I am just going to very light, lightly just set this down on my white cardstock. I'm going to move my black frame. And I'm just going to kind of just very lightly, I'm just going to press down. Now you can see where I have some, some of the color that's come out, but I don't want you to worry about that. Because what we're trying to do with this is I am trying to create 
just a impression of where those flowers are. Okay, that's that's where those flowers are on that acetate. Then I'm going to bring in these other stamps and I have some leaves outlines that I'm going to use. I'm going to grab my block and my Memento ink and I'm going to stamp directly on this um, Whisper White which is our base card. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use Memento ink and I'm going to stamp leaves there. And I'm going to stamp leaves there. I'm going to take this um, this large leaf. And I'm going to stamp it there. And I'm probably also going to stamp it maybe right there. I don't want to get too close to the edge, right? But I, I'm beginning to kind of create my background for my uh, for my acetate that's going to go on top. You can kind of see, can you kind of see how that's beginning to come together? How that's going to be popped up from there? Okay, I'm then going to um, grab the, so these were kind of the outline stamps right here right that are in our set and those are the stamps that I've chosen. I'm now going to go over here and I'm going to select the stamps from this side and I'm going to put them on. I'm going to close my memento ink and I'm going to go ahead and stamp and again I'm doing all this make sure I have my photopolymer uh, I'm using photopolymer stamp, so I've got my um, my stamping piercing mat. All right, so that's that one. And I'll take that one off. Then I'm going to use this large green stamp. We're going to stamp that one right there. Let me make sure it's okay. Okay, so now I've stamped my background. Again, I just want you to see this is how it's going to look. You can kind of begin to see how, how that is coming together. But I want to add some more, so a little bit more background interest to my um, background. So what I'm going to use is in the stamp set are these little flowers that I'm going to put on my block. And I want to use a very subtle color, so that's why I'm pulling in my soft sea foam. So let's pull in our soft sea foam and then let's just go ahead and stamp around. And maybe we want to put some of this in the middle between our flowers. Just to make sure that we have a nice background image. And it's okay if you kind of go into the into the blue a little bit. So you can kind of see if I were to lay this down, that's kind of what our image is going to is going to look like. All right. So now what I want to do is I do want to um, turn this around. And again, you can grab you can grab a, um, a sheet and just kind of wipe around to make sure your sheet is clean. And I'm kind of rolling my sheet up a little bit or my, um, my wipe just to make sure I have a nice clean sheet for when I turn this around and I put it and you can see how nice that's going to look. All right, 
Now what I did is I'm going to grab I'm going to grab a piece of um, I've laid this down. This is the soft shiny part. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, put my frame on my sheet and I am going to use um, I'm going to use tear tape. So let me turn this over and let me apply some tear tape on this on my black cardstock frame. And see if I can find my scissors. Look at that. Let's pull my scissors. And I'm just putting the, putting some on here on the side. And this is just because, you know, this is uh, acetate. I love my, uh, my tear tape because I know whenever I use it, it's going to stick. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up my edges. I'm like, oops, watch your finger because... If you stick your finger on it, it's definitely going to stick. So just use your, put your nail here in the corner. And there we go. So now I've picked up um, all my tear tape pieces. Now I'm just going to lay this down. And I'm going to lay it down over my picture, my uh, image. All right, now I've got some extra, I've got some extra acetate here because remember this is the acetate we used that came from our stamping, um, our stamping uh, photopolymer stamps are packed by, by uh, stamping up with this acetate sheet. Clean the acetate sheet and it's a little bit larger than I need. But not to worry because I'm going to pull in my mini cutter and we're now going to cut this down by just simply lining up and cutting a lot around our black frame. We're going to use our black frame as our guide. And I love this cutter. Okay. Now, if you have just a, a little bit, okay, if you have a little bit, I mean, use your scissors if you have to. You can use your scissors. See how easy? Just kind of, just kind of put your scissors at an angle so that you're cutting along the back. You're cutting along the back of your cardstock so you don't, you don't trim your cardstock. But there it is. And I have a little, I wet this, this brush because I had some of the chalk didn't really take with the, um, uh, there was some, like, there's a little dull part here. So I'm just, I just kind of wet that and just kind of dampened the chalk. So that the chalk shows through on my card. Um, sometimes I may, what, what happened is when I was applying my chalk, I applied too thick and then it was a little bit dull. So I just want to make sure that I applied it correctly. Okay, so now you can see, do you, do you see how pretty that is? So now that is going to go on top of our background. And it doesn't matter that you've got you've got some of this this image here. It really doesn't matter. And if you have the dimensionals, you know we do have dimensionals in black. And um, I hope everyone is following along. I see I've got three or four people that are watching. 
Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put these dimensionals on like this. And these are the black dimensionals because I do want to pop this up. on um, above my card. I want to make sure I put a dimensional there. Um, and then I'm going to take off my dimensionals. And I'm going to I'm going to make a I'm going to call one of my customers who should be watching right now and see if she's got any questions before before I end this um, Facebook Live. So let me just call my my downline. And I'm just taking off my black dimensionals here. Well, hi, this is um, Kat. I just wanted to call you before I ended my video because I know that you're watching me tonight. And I wanted to see if you had any questions on the, on the technique that I can answer while I'm live. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm putting, I'm lining up and I'm going to, I'm going to do this on my, on my self piercing mat. You can mute your pad. You can mute your pad if you can. Okay. So there it is. Now I just lost the picture that hopefully I know it'll come back. I, I lost it for a minute, but I just wanted to kind of I'm, I'm live, but I'm also talking to one of my customers who I just wanted to make sure that she kind of had any questions. And if anybody has any questions, go ahead and put in, in the comments um, what, how the, the, the technique was. Is that close enough? Okay, and then here is my sentiment that I'm gonna put right here. Okay, let me, let me um, show you the sets I used the art and bloom set and this and the sentiment is you're a rare find so there it is and the i used art and bloom for everything the outline of the flowers and i used the sentiment now to cut out my and then I use the rectangle stitch framelit dies to um, to cut out my frame. And then um, now the art and bloom comes with some dies, but I didn't use any of those dies. I I actually went to one of my favorites called Tasteful Labels, and I picked um, this die right here out of tasteful labels to cut my out my sentiment. I use this I use this um this shape here. It comes in all these different shapes. I use that shape right there. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to again I'm going to take some of my 
black dimensionals and I'm going to put my sentiment right there and and I all I'm trying to do is I did I, I did my sentiment with gold embossing powder and this one I did with just uh, memento black but I kind of liked I kind of like the gold but you can see you can see what you can create using the the technique you can pick the um you can pick whatever size sentiment you want if you want a smaller sentiment i kind of like the bolder the bolder sentiment to go with this to go so there it is um using the um acetate panel technique uh and the using your soft pastels with versamark um, to create this lovely technique. So, so there it is, Cat Chancellor. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back and watch another live. Uh, leave comments and uh, and uh, send me questions if you have any questions. This is Cat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. Have a great evening and happy stamping. Mm-hmm.